In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful ways to use your Facebook page, your business page, to interact with other business pages. Now, this is this is really, really powerful as a social media marketing tactic. If you control your page, you can communicate as your business with other business pages as your business, not as a personal profile. Thus, think about it, creating a link back to your business page, advocacy, awareness will increase, people will investigate when you comment and a brand truly interacting as a persona. What you need to do is you go to newsfeed when on in your um, thing and it's, it's moved around a lot over the years. This is 2021 and you'll see that there's a feed here and there's Parks Canada and th this is, these are pages that show up that they followed as your page. So you, they've got suggestions right away. I'd suggest, you know, considering, you know, Habitat for Humanity, you know, specific ones that are, you think might have content on it that um, you could coordinate with that could build advocacy and awareness and, you know, get to your bottom line. It's like, you know, there's people at the local cafe, there's people at the fitness place that could, this is a mental health uh, business, um, therapy wise, fitness, you know, um, adjacent industries that could best benefit you to communicate. So let's, let's go through here. So love that moves, this is a Wayne Dyer, it's kind of global too much. Um, Local fitness place might be something, but you know, let, let's just let's just find one really simple here. Opening soon, so Meaford Independent. Okay, music, sure. So you could you could I could comment here. See this as anchor therapy. You know, um, you could you could write anything you want. I'm trying to find something that seasonal illness and flu experts. Too much too much kids. Here we go. That have children. Okay, uh, battling over school. I'm done. We're in the midst of a synonymous battle. Um, consider, uh, uh, Gray, is this a Gray Bruce business? Yeah, we got this Gray Bruce, um, Gray Bruce, um, mindfulness therapy, uh, for your youth. Come see my programs to help. This is like perfect, actually. <laughs> um, and you could just do this and I could create a link actually to uh, the uh, website which I like to always do grabbing the URL and putting it in also it makes it easier than then helping them investigate so when I do this see this usually that's a person so now this person's gonna be like you know they will check it out and these 40 other people have the opportunity will see this post also we get a notification that there's a new comment thus making them investigate thus increasing your foot your digital footprint news feeds are amazing how did how else can you follow businesses i would just do searches in facebook for pages so if you're looking at something for example um you know and you went to a page that you thought was relevant that you want to show up in your feed so you could comment in your business feed you go to here um to the three dots and you like as your page and then you can select and find your page and like it and submit and then that this page whenever they post will show up on your news feed and give you opportunities doing this a couple times a week helps big time to increase your exposure and this is an, uh, a social media marketing activity that a lot of business pages miss out on doing this can be in tangent in coordination with your posting strategies send out posts on your page and just go to the people that are on your page but also go in to your um, news feed which see I don't control this so they don't have that but on pages you do then all of a sudden you'll have a business news feed versus your Facebook personal news feed. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh, remember to subscribe and you know consider these two other videos that might help you with more social media marketing. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another video.